Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into the right hand. I did do it. So I've applied Gershon Poly Gel number 19, the same glitter I applied on my other hand. That's been filed, shaped, buffed, all that good stuff. And I'm coming in with Model 1 Solid Cream number 11 on my thumb and I'm just using my dotting tool to create a circle more or less in the center of my nail. If you guys look closely at my nail, you can see like sort of different dimensions of light and dark. That's because I overlaid number 19 on uh, a white Gershon Poly Gel, but I do love the effect that it created, so I just went with it. So I did some trial and error with this cream gel application. I tried to draw a circle here in the middle finger. That did not work. So I just went back to the way I was doing it because ain't nothing was wrong with that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So um, I don't think I cured each individual nail as I was doing this. And you might think that this was sort of unleveled or whatever, but no, the I did it thinly enough that if it wasn't leveled, it didn't matter. And again, on the pinky, and all of those nails have white under them. So it's a cool effect that they created. I, I really dig it. So once I cured those for 60 seconds, I went in with my rhinestone gel and I applied it on all three of these nails. Because by now, if you haven't read the... Uh, thumbnail we're doing some ornament nails we're doing some ornament nails involving some rhinestone very limited amount of painted art so because i suck at rhinestone placement i had to literally do the setup here of how exactly i wanted it to look and i it worked so i'm coming in with oval opal what opal stones that I picked up from AliExpress and also some silver rhinestones that uh, came in a kit from um, from Burano. I think these are like Preciosa crystals or like the, some of the best rhinestones that I've ever seen because man they were shining. So I just push that into that rhinestone gel and sometimes I would have like a stone that was flipped over and I couldn't pick it up and I was trying to be super precise with this so I just went and picked it up from the other lot once I got an idea of you know the style but look at that look at that glitz and I had to set down that gel cream because man that's popping just you know for to fill in the gaps of like where the rhinestone glue but sorry where the rhinestones aren't gonna go so you guys know what you can see what I'm doing here okay then so that's what I did so I'm doing that on the middle finger as well I love how this turned out do you know when you do something and your like vision just comes into like come to fruition yes yes that's what happened here and I was thoroughly pleased with myself um, this jewelry picker, it's the same one I use all the time, for the life of me, I can't remember where I got it, but you can grab one of these anywhere. So the entire time I'm doing these nails, I do not cure this gel. I, I, I'm risky like that. So I have cured it for a full 60 seconds, and now I'm taking solid cream number two, mixed with 1323 Model 1's white gel polish, and I'm taking this little brush from my Beauty Gallery set. That set is just full of like little treasures. Like, mm, that brush was perfect for what I needed for. So I start off with a dot, and then I pull from each section to create this bow. Because remember, I am working with my non-dominant hand. Do you see how weird and awkward that movement is? Oh my gosh. I'm working with my non-dominant hand. I'm trying to paint this bow. I am not good at doing nail art with my non-dominant hand, period, point blank. But here we go. So I literally scrape that gel polish because I want it to be just as thin as when we did the argyle print. So here I am doing the same thing on the middle finger and I got smart as I did this because I was just winging it. I mean I had an idea but it was like winging it also. Do you see my little bow picture that I drew on? Drew, drew over there? Isn't that cute? Yeah I, I think it's cute. Uh, so I was winging it and as I winged it um, I learned new techniques like pulling from each side first and then creating like some sort of like symmetry. And then I took that little detail brush right there, dipped it into that gel paint and I am creating the little string that this ornament is hanging from the tree on and then I went back in and really defined that dot that we put in the center because that, like that's where the bow ties into and then I took my dotting tool and just pulled like little lines from that center dot I created some little details on the um, 
you know, on the different round ends of the bow and just, you know, like with a little flick of the wrist, nothing too fancy, more whimsical than anything else. Because the argyle print was so structured, I wanted something a bit lighter, a bit fun, a bit softer. So I really just went with something um, that I think anyone can do, you know? Because anyone could do the argyle print, but in terms of like straight lines and all that, it was very, very structured. So now I'm just taking that same gel and I'm adding little details underneath the ornaments. This is, this, y'all, I am loving my nails, okay? Loving them. Uh, that's all I gotta say about it. So, um, really annoyed that I filed all this product off and still ended up reapplying it, but what are you gonna do? I didn't know what I was gonna do with my nails, so there we go. So it is top coating time, and as you can see, I'm pushing this top coat all the way into that, like that ornament, because I want to make sure nothing gets around their hair or whatever doesn't get snagged on anything. What I will say is that Gershon's top coat, which is what I'm using, is runny as hell. Oh, recommendations for thicker top coats, guys. Go in the comments. I love you for doing it. So it's top coating time. I have to end this. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a happy Christmas. I say happy instead of merry because I'm a Harry Potter nerd and I enjoyed when Hermione said happy Christmas. So happy Christmas, guys. Follow me on social media. Look forward to the product list below and a video and picture of the finished look. I love you and I promise to see you in the next one. Bye.